Hey YouTube, what is up everybody? I'm gonna be going working on how to do the trap, the trap hand embossing, plus using the high block embossing for hooks and counters. So we're gonna be doing the trapping and the high block. We'll end up doing what I use with these counters of techniques on the bag and what we're going to do is well, we're going to work on this to trapping and we're going to go cross hook and then we're going to cross and then on the high block is high block cross cross Uppercut, uppercut, hook, hook. <clears throat> All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna trap the hand, jab, and cross, hook, cross. That's how you get on the inside of your opponent's jab. As soon as the opponent throws a punch, block, jab, cross, you know, you use a jab into it as well. But me, it's like jab, cross, jab, cross. I'm going to do it 20 times. I'm going to move it around. Notice when I'm trapping, I do cross. Look, you don't want to throw your hook out like this, even though that gives you more power. But think of this if you throw the hook out like this, it telegraph. Yeah, that gives you power, but you don't want to telegraph with your hook. When you throw that hook, I want to have it tight inside, non telegraph function. That way, your opponent cannot see. Walk, trap, 13, 14, 15. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now, when you're doing the techniques, you want to make sure you're doing the breathing along with it. Because the breathing helps you generate power into your techniques. Now we're going to go to the other side. 
as a martial artist, you work both sides. You make each side equal. Now, on the strapping the hand, it's just a pair. You know, most people say, oh, you know, trapping, it's a pair. Well, that's what a trapping is to me. Because what you're doing is strapping the hand down, going in for a strike, holding that hand down at the same time, turning around to do a hook, turning around to do a punch. It's basically the same thing on the other side, either hand. You know, you can do it from the outside. But that'll be in another video. Alright, we're going to do the high block combination. The high block is kind of like an upward L. Making an L with your arm out at a 45 degree angle. It's not up like this. It's more out like this. It's kind of like the high block from karate at the same time. Which, you know, karate, you know, they chamber up and they have one hand down here by their side and they chamber up and they execute it at a 45 degree angle. But when in boxing, or kickboxing boxers kickboxers they use this they use this block to block high high blocks same with kung fu fighters they use this for high blocking they use it for blocking hooks they use it for blocking they use it for blocking crescent kicks high roundhouses um, Jump flying kicks, you name it, you got it. They they use it for high block, high attacks. Sometimes you know you can evade, but you know sometimes you don't see the attack coming. So normally, what they do is a high block. Now if you can see the attack coming ahead of time, then you can just evade back. But when, I, when you don't see it coming, just a simple high block. You know, do it on each side. You know, it's just plain and simple, basic block. You do it on each side. For our people, they have one hand up on their hip when they're doing the move. Boxers, they don't really have other hands on it. They just do the move. Now, 
I'm gonna play the high block, the high outside block for this counter, which is the high block, jab, cross, uppercut, uppercut, hook, hook, combination. We're gonna do this 20 times. The thing with this, you work, like I said before, you work each side 20 times, and you build your techniques each 20 times. If you're a beginner, do it 10 times. But if you're intermediate, do it 20 times. This is just basic how to get on the inside with inside fight. And then plus, this is for solo girls. If you don't have a partner, you can use a bag. You know, even though bags don't hit back, but bags are a tool to use if you don't have a partner to practice with. So we're going to do high block, jab, cross, jab, up, 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 up. Now I'm not, you notice I'm just, when I'm doing my uppercuts and my hooks. I'm not using my shoulders. I'm using my hips. I'm using my power from the ground. Because if you just use shoulder, if you just, if you just use your shoulder, that ain't enough. But if you use hip into it if you use hip into it you're using every ounce of your body one two You always want to make sure after each combination you do, you never want to have your hands down when throwing the combination. Because if you have your hands down, your opponent can clock you and knock you down. So you always want to make sure you have your hands up when doing these techniques. One. techniques I have my chin tucked that's what bossers do that's what every fighter does when they're moving around when they're moving around they have to have their chin tucked why 
Why? It's because they don't want to get hit with an uppercut in the chin. Or they don't want to get hit with that show of hook in the chin. That's the only reason why fighters have their chin tucked. Now we're going to do the other side of the high block. One. Two. There you have it. This is two simple basic drills what you can do with a high block, the trapping techniques. Because basically the trapping is for going on the inside, maneuver around, you know, you can throw a punch, you know, you can throw an elbow. You know, if you're if you're a street fighter or something like that, you know, your opponent's just baiting you with the jab, you know, he's baiting you, baiting you. Well, once he baits you with that jab, turn around, boom, boom, and then you can use set your elbow up with those jab crosses, along with the tracking hand. Which we'll cover that in another video on the elbow strike along with the trapping hand. You know, I'm utilizing Jikundo methods into this along with uh, traditional boxing, mixing in with karate at the same time. So, like I said, karate, blocking, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, seventeen, eighteen. That's curly block because it has more on the hips. Rudder boxing blocking is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
and 20. Now, this will be more with footwork. One. This is more of like using the pivot into it. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Same with on this side, same thing. I'm just barely taking a step forward over this way into a circle, halfway past circle. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, Now, the inside parry, well, this is kind of like an inside parry trap, but the thing of it is, in karate, in karate, traditional karate, they block with their forearms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Now you do the same thing with quarter balls. Same thing. Five, 
says, seven. Same thing on the other side. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, nineteen, one more. There you have it, folks. I'm second on four. Um, please hit the like, hit subscribe, hit the bell notification on all. You'll get every one of my videos once you hit all on the bell notification. It's just basic infighting techniques on basic guard techniques for the upper body, you know, especially in boxing, you know, which the trapping is kind of like dirty boxing in a way because you're controlling the wrists. Um, the high blocking is really not dirty boxing, that's just protecting your head from strikes. But the trapping, you know, it's kind of like from Wing Chun, you know, a mixture of Wing Chun. So I'm applying Wing Chun plus karate plus um, boxing all into one, kind of making up my own Jeet Kune Do version. So, um, which my style is Kemp Kwando system. That's the style I made up um, myself. I'm still kind of working on it. You know, I'm trying to make it perfection into my training as well. Um, but like I said, hit the like, hit subscribe, hit all on the bell notification. You'll get every one of my videos. Summit Donald 4 signing out. I hope you enjoyed this video and peace. <laughs>